Look at the first half highlights presented by back 221 and the two touchdowns and no picks. Yeah, and to finish off that last drive was huge because you get the ball right back. Tracy. Jim, I had a chance to speak with Ron Rivera going into half and certainly extremely frustrated with this defense. He said they need to put more pressure on the quarterback and they are playing too far off those wide receivers. He said they need to challenge them and be more physical offensively. He said extremely pleased with the toughness he's seen from Sam Howell. He's getting the ball out quickly. They are moving down the field, but that's all for naught if they can't get stops. I agree with that, Tracy. That's a great point. They got to be more physical to line of scrimmage. Here's the pass to Pollard, and he opens up with a 10-yard pass play. The ball is out, but they're going to rule him down. It's the second time the ball's come out of his hands. Uh, but it was recovered the first time by Lamb, and this time they're ruled down. Fuller on the hit. Yeah, he's down. And I agree with Ron River. See that space right there? I mean, there's nobody within six, seven yards. You've got to get down in there and contest. And there they, for the second time, drag him down behind the line of scrimmage. Both times it was Deron Payne to get those tackles for a loss. And that's the strength of this defense is right up that middle. How about this, Tony? In the first half, they only ran 26 plays. 15 of them went for first downs. Well, coming in, a lot of man coverage, and these are two of the better teams. You know, when they play man, which means I'm guarding you. And both these teams exploit that, especially Dallas. But to me... The biggest thing is, if you're yeah, playing that, you've got to, go. you can't be this soft up top there. You've got to be tighter up. One-on-one -on -one coverage down the way, and Lamb almost able to haul it in. Bounced around his hands a couple times. St. Juice, again, has been the one who's been on him most of the game. you got to give Mike McCarthy a ton of credit. A great route. He almost comes down with it. He was kind of held there for a little bit. It was close right there. Grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. Could have called that maybe there because that does affect it. But give Mike McCarthy a ton of credit, Jim. Since the bye week, he's called these go routes, everything down the field, and that's opened everything up, and they're hitting a ton of them. Yeah, they've seen it a number of times today. Here's a third and 11. Dak, again, dumps it off. Pollard able to pick up about eight. Well, that's a huge stop right there. You got to be prepared for the fake, obviously, because it's fourth and short. But Dak wanted to extend and look downfield, but the stunt move gets someone right inside in his face and gets it out. And he's playing such an efficient game, but it's explosive. This has been the offense recently. It's very impressive to watch with them getting the vertical stuff down the field. It's going to be the first punt for the Cowboys, Tony, since the first drive of the game. Anger, 58 yards with his first boot. And this one, serious hang time. Back. Slide and strong. Wow. Turn around and stick it up. Wow. Wow. Fine, fine specimen. Wow. Jump it down now, pick it up. Wow. 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 Jump it down now, pick it up. Wow. 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 Damari and Miliana warming up this wonderful American holiday. I hope you all are having a great afternoon back at home with those you love. Here we go. Commanders hanging in there, 20 to 10, the deficit. Starting at their own eight and a big open field. And finally, Wilson is there to meet Robinson, but not until he picked up a first down. Total of 11. Well, and this is where Dallas has shored up from the previous few seasons. They have that size inside with Hankins, Odigizua, and right there. I really felt like the teams who would beat him in the playoffs, Jim, was because inside they could push that middle and just get four or five on first down. That hasn't happened a ton this year, but right there, Washington does a good job. So got out of a little jam back at their own eight, and they got another nice lane. It's closed quickly. 
to about the 22. And that's now Robinson with 12 totes in this game for a total of 54 yards. Robinson's a nice looking runner for him too. Physical, got some speed. Yes, he is, he's physical. I mean, really the one-two punch, you know, him and Gibson, like Gibson was out last week, but I feel like that's what every team needs in the NFL. It's not just one guy anymore and they have that. Here's a second and seven. And they've got him, no, oh, oh, oh. Get that get away. Oh my gosh. First down, ow. Gosh. How did he get away in that one? Well, I told you who his favorite player was growing up. <laughs> you did that a few times. I mean, Parsons had a shot of him here, Tony. Watch him come right in the... Parsons comes flying in. And it looked like there was nowhere to go, but Howell's done that multiple times today, and that's such a game changer. The league has gone to that a little bit, Jim. If you're going to be the Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, you better know the game so cold to get to the right play and know the defenses. Otherwise, you have to use your legs. And if you don't, you're going to be a statue back there and get hurt. That was a 12-yard scramble. And now in play action, wings it. Got him. Dotson. Forward progress will be about eight. I, I tell you what. Sam Howell is giving his team a chance playing great football. That saw the ball kind of come in, and he didn't have control of it right away. That's hard to do with a little play fake quick out. Throws it perfectly. Give Eric Bieniemy a ton of credit. He's calling a great game. I know they got 10 points, but this is a tall task right here. And very impressive right now how they've performed up to this point. Again, a drive that began at the 8. At the 41, moving forward with another first down to the Dallas 48. As Samuel takes that behind some blockers for 11 more yeah keeping them off balance it's like run the ball it's why everything starts with that like first run where they get that 10 yards because now all of a sudden you got to get people inside to stop the run and then you can screen them you can throw the rpo quick out and you see that burst in samuel he's impressive but like more impressive even in person honestly he's got six catches for 76 yards and the Commanders have three plays on this drive alone of 10-plus. And a new set of downs. Give him nine right here. Back to Dotson. Has his fifth reception. I'll tell you, pretty good uh, little start to the second half. you got Dallas receiving the second half kick. You shut them down after they pick up one first down. And then you're backed up to your own eight, and now you're threatening. You flip the field, and now you're trying to do something with it. And they've protected the football. Have you seen anyone that was like, oh, you shouldn't do that, right? That shows you the level that Sam's playing at today. Second and two. A little jump cut. And as Robinson tries to lean across for that first down. And they're going to say that he's short. Third down. Third on the way. This is, of course, the play that the Eagles are all but automatic. But elsewhere around the league, not so. You got a big physical quarterback, Tony. And how you're calling, you're calling for the tush push, aren't you? Uh, you named it, by the way. Let the people go back and look. <laughs> which is a heck of a call. Why not, right? I'd put it in. Yeah. But you're not going to run it from shotgun. No, not now. <laughs> Oh, that's that's a killer. You cannot waste a timeout on third and one, Jim. No. It's like it's a yard. You don't need some cool play to get it. It's like like you said, if you do two tushies in a row, <laughs> yeah. you might be able to get it. And we're going to see Philadelphia, by the way, on Sunday. Our crew's heading there for the Eagles and the Bills. Tomorrow, a huge holiday weekend of college football begins at noon Eastern with games in the so. Howell confers with Coach Bienemy. You're right. You got to figure you got two plays from right here. Got a big, strong quarterback playing, well, just his 13th start. That's it. Yeah, you forget that. It seems like he's been around a little longer. That's so true. Exactly right. Hasn't even played a full football season yet. He's staying the gun here, Tom. What are they going to do? Let's see. 
just hand the ball off. Quarterback, hand it to him. You pretend like you're faking it. Uh, or let's throw it really deep. And go one-on-one -on -one for the home run ball. And they don't get it. Oh, it's broken up by Gilmore brilliantly because it looked like McLaurin had a chance to haul it in. That was almost a brilliant play call. But it's not now. But, I mean, watch that. It's a double move, and Gilmore doesn't get fooled. Outstanding job. He's a veteran. Usually you'd think that they would stop on a hitch. But great technique at the end. Poised through the finish. Cool. And here comes your big fourth down play. Gilmore, the former... Defensive player of the year when he was a member of the Patriots. Take take a look at this. If they're all inside, you got to get a little wider. Robinson, they're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. Howell tries to help out as Odigi Zua brings a halt to it. This is back to our point. The Eagles have it like first and nine on every series because they know they're going to convert. On third and one. You're dead right. I didn't love shotgun back-to-back -back plays, Jim. No tush pushes there, then. It would have worked. You got it. Just, uh, yeah, Thanksgiving I'm right. Meal, that's his favorite. Thanks for that Thanksgiving claim, Jim. Cowboys. Take it over on downs. They give it to Pollard, and he double clutches that football. As there was a chance that Tuhill was going to rip it out if he didn't. Picks up a four-yard gain. How about these Cowboys at home? Why has it just been so overwhelmingly dominant for them this year, Tony? Well, when they play at home, the better you get in the system, which they have with Mike McCarthy, you're able to get to the right play over and over again. Obviously, they have talent. The old line is the difference, though. We're going to show you stuff just how dominant they've been against this team today, but in general, they do that. There's a pass. Pollard, that was snuffed out right away by... Cody Barton, who they got back off of IR, makes a fine play right there. Fifth-year player out of Utah. Oh, you see, it's a play. This is where I talk about when you play at home, Jim, as a quarterback who's a veteran, you can get to the right play constantly. You see man or zone. If he's blitzing or not, you change the protection. You go ahead and say, no, forget about that play. Do this play. And then you communicate to everyone. On the road, you can't communicate that. Mm. It's a loss of five, and he got a third and 11 down the middle. Oh, almost caught, recovered by Ferguson, but it was not. They're not going to give that as a catch, are they? No, can't they? Officials wow. come over and look at it for a while. This was a very aggressive throw, and it almost works out. That can't feel so good the way you land here. Reminds me of, Jim, of Chase, if you weeks ago landing on his backside against Buffalo. I mean, that was a dime by Dak right there. I mean, aggressive, but it was a spot that had a chance. Anger. Two drives this half for the Cowboys. Both of them stopped rather quickly. Got a run back chance here by Crowder. Crowder dodges two tackles, but not the third. As he is brought down in the end by Sig to the 49-yard punt. Third venue for Dallas to host the Thanksgiving Day game, of course, with the famed Cotton Bowl, Texas Stadium, and now AT&T Stadium. Where on December 30th, they will be inducting Jimmy Johnson that's, into the Cowboys' ring of honor. That's awesome. Well-deserved. Happy for you, Jimmy. So happy for him. What a legendary coach. Knew the game and Hall of Famer. And now, Ring of Honor. Here's Howell. With Samuel turning around, cutting upfield. Boy, he's quick. He's got nine out of that. That's a big one here. I know that's very tough to get into Ring of Honor here in Dallas. And Jerry, they make that their own version of the Hall of Fame. And I think. Uh, proud of Jerry for hey, everybody that and now people have had that contentious conversation for a while. Yeah, it's long overdue They won a, so many big games together Glad to see that finally come to pass December 30th Here's Gibson. There was heat on him right after the exchange. They just cannot convert on short yardage They're gonna face another third and one. You know anyone else who maybe down the road could go in the ring of honor? Uh, 
Marcus Ware, no? Yeah, yeah Dez. Jason Witten. Dez, yeah. There's Jay, one. Witten. Yep. Yeah, I would think all of them would be the next in line. C.D. Lamb, if he keeps playing yeah, like right, this, right. is going to be in there. Maybe Cavante uh, Turpin one day, take number nine into the... <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> ah, you got me. I didn't see that. Third and one. Ah, oh, there's shotgun. Use the quarterback's legs. Draw it. Do something with him. There you go. Got it this time. Samuel. I mean, no threat of a run, right? Unless the quarterback is going to draw there. A lot of shotgun in the short yardage, but that was actually well designed because you're moving the pocket. And you have, you got to give yourself two chances when it's really important. That's the way I call it. It's like a bootleg where the quarterback can run or throw. Get him on the move there where he's going to be able to find somebody quickly and he has time. Here's the secret. Everyone's lined up inside on third and short. Go outside. On first down. Into the backfield to go with Gibson. I'll tell you what's an, an amazing bit of irony is Tom Landry's last win as a Cowboys head coach and Jimmy Johnson's first win as a Cowboys head coach were both against Washington. Wow. And I did not know that. Great Tom Landry. A couple of legends there. I mean, there's... That's a legend of legends right there. Tom Landry. Talk about the house that people built. He, the old Texas Stadium. Go! Second and eight. And flags first. 29 years. When I think of Landry, I think of... Offense number 82. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. I think of Staubach. Of course. Tom Landry. When you think of you know, that type of coach, I think of Shula. You know, Belichick's coming up on Shula's record. Roger Staubach, quarterback, Troy Aikman. It's so funny, I watched the playoff games from the 90s. Aikman was amazing. I went and watched the old is. ones with Roger Staubach and what he did. He was so many people's heroes. I think he was one guy I know. Mr. Jim Nance. He was. That was your... Sam Howells might have been Tony Romo's, but mine was Roger the Dodger. And Robinson for no gain. Third and 13. What it's amazing when you get to later in life, you get to meet your heroes and actually have a friendship with them. Oh, it's treasured. And it lived up to it when you met him. I every promise you that. bit of it. He is every bit that guy. Oh, Diggy Zua. He's having some game he's time. He's an unsung, like, nationally, but he is outstanding. And he's been playing at that level all year, Jim. This is such a deep team on defense. And this is where they create the turnovers a lot. Someone gets near the quarterback, affects him. He really feels like he's down 10. He's got to fit that ball in there. And he's going to throw under pressure. And then all one of these DBs gets his hands on the ball and goes the other way. Third and 13. Here's Howell. Broken up. Boy, that was Lewis. Jordan Lewis who got a hand on it. That pass was zipped right in there. But Lewis makes the play that would have been good for a first down. I thought he was a little behind him. It was the first time I've seen him really just miss on the throw. Yeah, you're right. And that allowed Lewis to get his hand on it. And he knows right there that's the one you're going to want back tomorrow if you lose this game. Here's Way with the punt. Turpin backpedaling. Running out of real estate. Out of bounds at the 16. Ooh. That was a little late. That was. That was Hudson who was on him. Out of bounds after a 57 yard boot. Dak coming back on the field, putting up some big numbers. It's not a kickoff without Brown Royal. It's not a broadcast. Did last night at our Thanksgiving dinner, standing ovation that went on and on and on, recognizing his brilliant career. Even saw a Madden jacket in there being worn by our esteemed producer, Mr. Jim Rickoff, right yeah! there by the likes of Ryan Galvin, Mike Arnold. They handed off from first down, and again they've got Pollard for the third time behind the line and a loss of one. Let's take a look at Next Gen Stats, powered by AWS. I mean, look at the time here. They're, they don't even get a yard deep, and these, this is one of the best interior 
D-lines in the game inside. And look at the space. You can just move your whole body weight into it. And to me, that's what gives the Cowboys a chance to win the Super Bowl, Jim. I know Dak is playing incredible. Really deserve it. So is CeeDee Lamb. But that's where it all starts right there. Fake it to Pollard. Second and 11. And he had an open man. And Ferguson was roaming free. What happened there, Tony? Uh, it's, he just rushed it. It's like there's a timing that you think is supposed to happen. And Ferguson could have gone a little bit higher with his rod. And I think Dak wanted to say, hey, make it a little bit of a higher angle. But the truth is that should have been an easy throw catch. Dak just drifted a little. You know, he drifted left. Should have sat in the pocket and just trusted the other. This is the third time in this quarter. Cowboys have had third and 11. Back, plants, fires, hits him, hit the 40. That's Cooks. Tries to get up and run and get a couple more yards. Well, this is the, I mean, outstanding job by Dak to reset the pocket, I call. But great motion coming down, and then Cooks will go in and then go, boop, right back out. Such a weapon with his speed and ability to change direction. But watch Dak. Look at the time. Even though he's getting out of the pocket, it's still a pocket. That no one's able to get pushed, I call. That interior, I mean, you've got three guys possibly in the Hall of Fame one day. you got Zach Martin, Tyron Smith, who will be, I think. And I think Tyler Smith is on that path. Wow. Here we go. First down again. They go run. Howard trying to break outside. He's done it. Still on his feet. And he got up to within about a yard of the first. Nice piece of running that time by Tony. And last week... He did the same thing where, you know, people were wanting to see him because he had such a, you know, remember the last few years they wanted him to get the ball more, right? That's like, right. Get him the ball. Seek, yeah. And it's the same thing with any backup running back. You come in and run the ball on downs where it's not first and ten where they're trying to stop the run. So it's always going to be easier for the backup, but he's really starting to pick it up from where they started early in the year. They bring in Dowdle for the second of one. Take it into the line with him. And trying to climb up for it is Lamb. No flag. He's got two catches today, Tony. It's been a quiet Thursday for him. Two for 24. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that, though, is just because you're able to throw to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> so it's whoever's open first. But you got to give credit to Washington here. It's a really good job by 20 Martin to play physical the way Ron Rivera wanted coming out at halftime. Don't just give him the space. That ball is behind him. There's on third and one. A flag out as Dak converted. I don't think they were set. You know, everyone has to have their hand in the ground on offense. And if not, if someone's moving to put their hand down. Illegal motion. Offense number 84. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. That's McEwen. Take a look at this right side. You got to give them a, a real count before you snap that ball because it's almost like you're motioning them and you can't do that in the NFL. So now you drop back to a third and six. Lamb over here moving around now. Yeah, here we go. It's looking for him, looking for Lamb. He's got it for the first down. All the way to the Commander's 40. We saw the sprint out by Howell on the other side. Good job. Move the pocket. The motion is so huge. Mike McCarthy doing an excellent job. You know, we know he's only got three catches today, but they're moving him a lot and getting him in different areas. And they're going to try and get this off before the quarter. So a couple of nice conversions by the Cowboys on this drive on third down. And we've come to the end of the quarter. There was no scoring in the third.